guys, today I'm going to be talking about a composer named Lamont Young. Lamont Young is an avant-garde and minimalist composer, musician, and artist from America who is most well known for his contributions to experimental music and is tied to New York's Fluxus art scene. He was born in October of 1935 in Bern, Idaho, where he drew much of his inspiration that would later influence his music. Young was fascinated by the many sounds from his environment and often listened to drones produced by wind, electrical transformers, and various other stimuli that surrounded him. In the 1960s, Lamont Young moved to New York and formed a relationship with Fluxus founder George Makunas, amongst other members and artists such as Yoko Ono. As a member of Fluxus, Young composed a series of pieces entitled Compositions 1960. In these compositions, he challenged the boundaries of music and art by creating extreme situations for the performer. Some of the pieces from the series cannot be performed, but are rather written to make people think about art, music, and nature, not as separate ideas, but as one. His idea was to join all three simultaneously as to state that one cannot exist without the other. And this should be embraced by everyone. One of the pieces that he wrote for Compositions 1960 is number seven in the series. The instructions are to play a B and an F sharp, a perfect fifth, and it is to be held for a long time. The idea behind this is that the chord does not function alone, but is accompanied by the noise and sounds from the environment that it is performed in. With this in mind, I'm going to perform Compositions 1960 number seven for you and try to listen not only to the perfect fifth, but to the sounds that we so often take for granted all around us. The origins of Fluxus line many of the concepts explored by John Cage in the 1950s such as 4 minutes and 33 seconds, a piece in which performers are not asked to play the instruments but just be in the atmosphere in which that, makes, that creates the sound. John Cage further explored art and music together to form the Fluxus movement, or be a part of it rather, where he thought that the sound of nature or the atmosphere created the music rather than the person um, playing an instrument itself. Hello. So I'll be talking about Flux artist George Brick. Brick was one of the many influential students in the 1957-59 class in musical composition offered by John Cage himself in New York. In the Flux movement, the most innovative technique that emerged from those class of flux artists was Brooks' event score. The event score is simply an action or actions framed as a minimalistic performance. For Brick, these events were occurrences that you can see in here every day on the streets. While Cage invokes a total unpredictable configuration or a permanent flux, Brick isolates a single observed occurrence and projects it as a performance activity or an event. Hello, I'll be performing one of George Brick's compositions or events called Solo for Violin, Viola, Cello, or Bass. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. Hello there again. So I'll be performing another of George Brick's events. This is called Calm Music.
Thank you. Hello there. Now I'll play in another event. This is called drip music. Thank you. Dick Higgins was born in England and raised in the United States. He studied privately with Harry Levinson, Cal at Columbia University, and later on with John Cage at the new School of for Social Research. While Dick Higgins was trained in composition and orchestration, he did not focus all his efforts in the arts on just music, but rather he focused on intermedia that may or may not involve music. Dick Higgins used event scores, which are written instructions that the performer would follow. Dick Higgins did not only contribute to Fluxus movement by creating art for it, but also by helping it spread through his paper, The Something Else Press, that was a major publisher of avant-garde and intermedia works. He also ran his performance gallery, where people can experience performances of Fluxus and other arts. Dick Higgins wrote a series of event scores known as danger music, which are intermedia pieces that sometimes involve the audience in them. Danger music number 41. Danger music, number 17. 